Welcome back to Digital Bytes. I'm your host, Ralph Ronzio, the technical director of the digital experience team here at Pure Storage. And I have another exciting Pure One feature announcement to give you and show off. So check this out. So we acquired a company called Portworks a little while ago, and that's allowed for end-to-end -end storage and data management for containerized workloads. Well, you know what? Don't listen to me. Here's what it is right here, and then we'll dive into the feature. Take it away. And with Portworks from Pure Storage, you have the industry's only unified Kubernetes native solution for storage, data security, migrations, and capacity management. You can run cloud-native data services in any cloud or multiple clouds, effectively allowing your data to behave just like a cloud service. By abstracting the storage interface from your Kubernetes environment via a CSI in this way, provides you with real data mobility and the flexibility to shift your containers off of VMware or from on-premises to public cloud or some combination of both at any time in the future. Okay, so now that you know what Portworks does, let's check out this new integration feature that's now part of Pure One. Accessing the Portworks integration feature is really simple. Under Fleet, you click on Containers, and here you're going to see the amount of clusters, the amount of nodes, and the active licenses within your Portworks environment. If you go down a little bit further, you'll see each cluster, and you'll see information about the Portworks version, the orchestrator of each cluster, what license you have, whether it be enterprise or a trial, when that license will expire. And then if you click on an individual cluster, you'll see additional information below. You'll see again, whether or not the license is, um, is a trial or not. You'll see the, the cluster usage as far as capacity goes. You can click on volumes and you'll see all the volumes attached to that cluster and information about each volume and whether or not it's online, offline, or in a warning status. If you click on nodes, you're going to see the nodes within that cluster, the capacity usage, and the CPU usage of each, each node. This may be useful to you if, uh, if you have nodes that may be having issues. You can see if there's any kind of CPU usage that might be maxed out. You can also see the memory usage of each node in the cluster. If you want to go to a different cluster, just above, you click on the cluster name. You'll again see the capacity usage. You'll see the volume usage if there are any volumes attached and then you'll see each node within the cluster. And again, you'll see the CPU usage, the memory usage, and some information about the operating system of each particular node. So this is just stage one of our integration of Portworks. You're gonna see more of this to come in the future. I hope you enjoy this, and we'll again have more features like this in the future. Well, that about wraps up this episode of Digital Bytes. Thanks so much for watching. I am super excited about this feature because it is our first stages of rolling in the Portworks environment into Pure One, and we're gonna have a lot more to come. So for those Portworks customers, I think they're really gonna appreciate this new feature, and definitely I encourage you to check it out. It's really cool. That's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the Pure Storage YouTube channel. Put your comment below. I want to hear from you. And that's it for now. We will see you on the next one.